Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be looking at how to save your bases, but actually get the new world generation for the Ashlands. So in this video, I'll show you two ways that you can keep your base and get the new Ashlands world gen when it comes out. First I'll show you the manual method, but stick around to the end and I'll show you how to do it automatically really quickly. You see, this is what Ashlands looks like right now on your map. They're going to change the land generation for the Ashlands because they want you to have to sail to the Ashlands. But this means that your current world is going to be invalidated because when the Ashlands update comes out, if you keep using the same world, you'd still get the new Ashlands biome if you hadn't explored it yet, but it would be connected to the old stuff. First, we'll need to understand a little bit about how land generation and biomes work in Valheim in the first place. Because essentially what you're going to do is create a new seed totally from scratch, and then you're going to copy and paste all of the buildings that you want on your new seed. But how is a world in Valheim made in the first place? Well, it all has to do with this seed. I always play on the seed R-I-I-T-O. You can see here that I'm currently looking at an old version. So let's update it to the newest version of Valheim. And boom, here's the new one. So you can see that the terrain generation changed a little bit around the Mistlands. I don't know if you caught that. But aside from that, everything's in the same place. So if this pattern continues, it means that when they change the Ashlands land generation, you can use the same seed, make a new world, and most of the terrain will be the same. However, all of your locations, such as this stone tower here, or any kind of dungeon or anything like that, they're all going to get shuffled. When they update the world gen, the terrain will stay the same for the most part. However, all of the locations are going to change place. This means that if I were to update the world gen of this world, the location of towers and everything would change, so this tower wouldn't be here. So here's the problem. That means that when Ashlands comes out, you can use the same seed, make a new world, and then most of the terrain's gonna be in the same place, but none of your buildings are gonna be there. So let's fix that. This is where the absolutely incredible mod, Plan Build, comes into play. So let's take this base as an example. This is one of my favorite swamp bases. It's built on a meadows right next to the swamp. And boom, look at that. Now we're on the same seed, regenerated, but the buildings are all totally gone. This is what it would look like if you restarted your seed. So now we're going to use plan build to copy the base and paste it here. I won't show you how to install plan build in this video because I have a whole video dedicated to plan build and using it. Check that video out if you want to learn more about this mod. For now, I'm just going to show you quickly what happens. First things first, we need to copy this base using plan build. I'm going to use the blueprint rune and pick Add to Blueprint Selection. I'm gonna hold Control down, which is gonna make this circle show up, and I'm gonna make the circle bigger than the whole base, and then click. Everything turned green because it's now part of the selection. However, we're gonna have huge problems placing this if we just copy it as is. We have to add one of these center point markers, and I usually put them somewhere simple, like the entrance to the base right there. Once you've placed the center point marker and everything you want to copy is green, then what you need to do is go to this edit selection, click, and then save. Now we're going to name this house one. Once everything saves, the green will go away and everything's back to normal. You can see I'm on the restarted world of the same seed. We're going to select house one and you can see that the stairs are right in front of me now. This makes the building much more easy to place. I'm going to find where I want to place it, hold Control and Alt, place it permanently, and then boom! Look at that. We just rebuilt our entire base. Now, there are some problems with this method, mostly because of the terrain. 
When you build a base, you often mess with the terrain a lot. And I'm actually really surprised that this base just plopped right into place. Because normally the terrain isn't in the right place and stuff will start getting destroyed. But if you're lucky, like I was here, then you'll be able to place it. And then all you have to do is just sort of run around and fix the terrain so that it's the right height and that you can actually get into all the buildings and everything like that. Definitely much faster than recreating the entire building from scratch. Now, this method is incredible if you're just focused on individual buildings or there's just like one or two castles or things that you really want to keep. But if you have hundreds of buildings, this isn't very practical, is it? It's going to take you a while. Well, guess what? I got an even faster way to do what I just showed you. Enter the Upgrade World mod. This mod is incredibly powerful, regularly updated, and I talked to the creator recently enough that I'm confident that he's going to update it when Ashlands comes out, okay? What this means is that technically, all you'll need to do is download this Upgrade World mod and install it with Bepinex, and then you'll enter the console, and you'll enter some commands which are going to force all of the Ashlands in your current world to regenerate with the new Ashlands land generation. AKA, they're going to turn into these islands, but all of your bases and stuff in the center of the map are going to be untouched. This mod upgrade world can seem intimidating to people, but it's actually really easy to use because you don't need to understand everything in order to use it. All you need to do is go to the mod page and then click on the documentation link there. This is going to give you a bunch of commands that you can just copy paste. Scroll down all the way, you can find this command section. And then you get to look at each of the individual commands for the mod. But that's not what really matters. All you need to know is what's shown in this examples area. Because basically, if you type in this into the console, then it's going to do this. And this area will allow you to figure out exactly what you need to do. Because this mod can do a lot more than just reset the biomes. And what you're gonna do when Ashlands comes out is use this command here, world gen, and then there'll be a new one, Ashlands. And using this command once will reset the Ashlands on your current world to the new islands generation. And this will all happen without you losing any of your buildings. If you want to support my work, then consider purchasing your own dedicated Valheim server using my link, JP Valheim. Also consider liking the video if you want YouTube to show you more videos like this. Have a great day, okay? Bye-bye!